Hey everybody, welcome to my property. I made it here last night and uh, was up first thing this morning trying to get a jump on things while it was still cool. And I was planning on to take you on a trip around the property then, but as I was walking the dogs around, my feet were getting soaked so from the dew. And so I figured I'd wait a little bit, get some work done. And so far I've got the address sign up. I have the a branch cut down that was blocking the driveway and have the dog's pen set up next to the van, which I'll show you in a little bit. And so let's get the camera turned around and we'll take a tour. All right, this is the driveway. You can see the rig. I also set up a yard for the dogs. So they've got their fenced in area now. And I had to put a rug down because I was getting so much sand into the van. And uh, so here it is. There's actually more grass than I remember. But I'll take you on a walk around. The house is going to be right in here. And there's going to be two storage containers on uh, behind it going that direction. One will be actually on the driveway and the other will be to the uh, 25 feet to the other side of it. And this is just a nice big open area. The fence is, fence is way back in there. Fence line, I should say. But there is fence up, and uh, I'll have to do some work on that. Dazzle's just chilling. <laughs> he does not want to be left behind. Lots of trees. I think I've got it figured out to where I don't have to take out any trees except maybe this one. Back here there is a paddock and falling down, but it has some fencing and some posts that I might repurpose if they're in decent shape. The uh, property is completely flat. There's very little that needs to be graded, or none that needs to be graded. And there's, there's water all the way back here, and actually further back, because it goes all the way back there, which I'll show you in a moment. There's a couple structures on the property, one of them back there, one of them here. They will need to be cleaned up or torn down. There's a lot of debris and stuff that will need to be taken out. Climb through the trees here and the spider webs, sorry. Oh, cold spider webs. All right. So this is still pretty wet. Oh. So there was clearly animals back here. There's some old pens and runs. Probably dogs back here. But a couple pieces of tin I can use. There's some rabbit hutches, or what was rabbit hutches. Back here, more old tin that needs to get cleaned up. So these are old hutches. This is the back fence line, so I've got all trees back behind me. Well, so much for waiting till it dried out and my shoes wouldn't get wet. <laughs> there's some trash, there's some tires that I'll have to get cleaned up, but here's the farthest water spigot that I found. So there are lines that go all the way from the front to the back, or at least one line. 
Now, I'm not sure what this was for. I didn't actually peek in here the first time, but it's not in the best of shape, so roof caving in. It's only made of pallets, so that will probably come down. What's left of another section of shed there. This other one is in much better shape. Looks like there was a blind, a deer blind or something. Some sort of a platform, maybe for water, I don't know. But this one's in better shape. It's got some stuff that needs to come out. There's some, looks like rubber, some sort of, I don't know what it, what it is. I think it's rubber from a tire maybe. And uh, two doors, old chair, more rubber. Certainly a lot of work to do, stuff to clean up. I will be busy for a while, waiting for permits and whatnot. I called the sub, or texted the septic guy to see when he can come out. I did weed eat this this morning and then that battery died. So like I said, I'm waiting for batteries to charge. The septic is supposedly somewhere back in there. I looked, I didn't see a cover or anything, but uh, I cleared out some of the brush in there as well. You see overgrown grass and whatnot to try and take a look and see if I could find the cover. But I didn't, so hopefully the guy knows where it is. And then this is power onto the property. I don't know if you can see the power lines, but there are power lines that go all the way to that post. But that's not where my property's or my house is going, so that'll need to get rerouted. Clearly the house was back in these trees previously. There was a mobile home on the property that's been long gone. But power comes in there. And now we're back to the frig. And the water main is right next to the driveway. So that was easy to find. And that's my first video. So welcome to the property. I'm sure there will be many, many more videos. I hope you join me.